minutes, but I know that Reverend Tony won't be mad if I go to six minutes because my first question. <laughs> so I'll try not to read as much and try to explain slowly what's going on. And uh, my miracle happened last year when uh, I've been through some really challenging uh, situations through my life, including uh, career and housing. So um, start when uh, I, w I was working my own business down south of market for about seven years. I have a small transportation uh, business, uh, limousine and town cars. We have a small parking lot in downtown. That's where we keep the office, the detail shop, and uh, the boys in and out. We answering the phone and doing all the, the, the cool stuff and making some money. Slowly, the city started changing a lot, and Uber came to town, and Lyft came to town, and started <laughs> to crash in our market, and commissions are being taken. And uh, started to create a little fear of, oh, what's going on? Are we going to survive the trillion, million dollar companies? Or how, how are we going to do this? Um, eventually, about in July, I received a, a eviction notice for the parking lot where we were. We were three blocks away from Market Street, all by the hotels, were easy uh, spot for us to make our money and, and, and be on the spot when the, when the clients need it. So, all of a sudden, this a negative adrenaline rush started running to me. What am I going to do? What, what, where, where I'm going? I have all these limousines, these town cars, my little office. And really, my, my, my pearl is, is my detail shop. Everything is so shiny mm -hmm. because I like my little detail shop with all the <laughs> equipment. So I start to worry about it. I know I won't find a new, a new place in downtown. I know I won't, I won't find a place in South San Francisco, anywhere close to the amount of money that I'm paying for all this, this situation that I'm going through. Uh, I try to think on my own, and I just got this message that I should move out as soon as possible, not in the 30 days, but even earlier. Sell the cars that I'm not using, get away with what is, what is being extra, and keep just what is really important for me at the moment. So I end up packing all my little shop in my, my, in my office and I bring to my house down 47th Avenue where I was living with my roommates. So I was a little disappointed that, okay, I'm going out of business, I need to change career, this new tech boom is it, it hit me. I was feeling down at the moment, but I wrapped it up and put it in my garage in, in the avenues. And I uh, started a new, new life, looked for a new job, went back to hospitality, hotels, that's what I did for years. And everything was fine, I was feeling good again. Okay, it was just, it was just a company, it was just materialistic things that I don't, I don't really need anymore. 45 days after we... Uh, I received that, uh, the notice and I move out, I received my, my deposit, which is a couple thousand dollars, I move out on time, everything was fine. 45 days later, I received a moving out notice from my housing. Our house just got sold. Uh -huh. So then all of a sudden, we, that, again, that bad adrenaline rush started to run to me, like where I'm gonna go? So many friends I've been seeing go through this. Am I just another minority getting out ball out in the, of the Bay Area? Some friends moved to Oregon, because that's affordable. Some friends moved to Brazil because that's where we're from. Some friends moved to their mom's house because mom never said no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna do none of that. So I, again, I have to like figure out where I'm gonna live. Rent is a thousand dollars minimum for a room anywhere in the city. Again, I had to reach into myself and like, mm, what I'm gonna do, I have to find a place and I have my office in the garage, my detail shop in the garage, two, three cars that I couldn't get away because I had way more than that. So what I end up getting the message is that, well, get everything in a storage unit that you really need it. What you don't need it, you get away and you can minimize for the second time in 60 days. So I did put everything that I need in the storage place. And uh, doing that, I start to uh, slowly tell my friends, I'm, I'm looking for a housing, I need a place to stay. Here are the Course of Miracles of a lot of people, including Judy, that I've been doing the course every week. I, I, I verbalized that, that's what was going on. And uh, I put everything in a, in a storage place in the first week of the eviction, and then two weeks is going by, and I'm already start to getting, feeling the water coming almost to my chest. Where I'm going, what I'm gonna do now. So that's when, a week before we had to move out, an old roommate of mine that lived two blocks away with her two teenager kids, she sent me a text message inviting me to move in to be, live back with her 
right by the ocean beach, in the beachfront, me being a, sur a lifelong surfer. That was a dream coming through. I was like, wow, the, I, I'm really evoking the, the right energy for this to happen. So I uh, move into the, to the, to the family again. I'm living in the living room temporarily with a very symbolic price that is not a market price, but I can stand up and see the beach, see the waves, do my surf report, call the boys, start my day in a, in a, in a completely different mode than I was before it was fear, now it's joyful again. So my miracle really happened when I started to practice what I've been learning through the, through the CMC and through the classes with Judy, which when uh, things start to get difficult or I get into fragile times, I should reach in inside of myself for answers instead of crying out loud, <laughs> posting Facebook negative attention posts, start to complain about life and how this is, how is that, and, and why am I, I'm the true victim of this story right now. Why I'm doing this? So that's not the way to do it. I understood that if I wanted to attract the good energy, I need to be part of this good energy. Before, I used to think that the opposites attract each other. Now I understand that for me to move forward, I need to go with the same energy. There's no more clashes of energy in my point of view. Another lesson that I thought was very interesting for me is that I shouldn't be so materialistic anymore about things, about cars, about all the things that used to make sense for me right now. I need to really value what I have inside of me, which is a big heart full of positivity. That's what I'm, I'm based on. And uh, what really made this, uh, this, this, this experience for me a, a true miracle is that I learned that sometimes stepping back, Judy, and reaching inside instead of turn my back to, 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 to tough situations, uh, being present and trust that, that, that things are in my favor because I am on the favor of the, the full energy, that will be the right thing to do it. And now looking at you guys and sharing this miracle, it makes me really completely understand that I'm at the right place at the right time. So thank you for, for hearing this, this, this story. And um, what really then come out to me, instead of for me to be reaching out for all the, the situations, I, I'm learning more and more to stay on my own, step back, reach in, and internalize things, and the right messages, they end up coming to my shoulder, to my mind, and to my heart. That sounds my deal.